Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh and welcome to another episode of this uh, Ramadan series. Uh, so today I want to talk a little bit about Surat Maryam. Uh, Surat Maryam is a chapter and Maryam means Mary, uh, peace be upon her. And the Quran dedicates a full chapter uh, that is named after her. This is not to say that this is the only place that Maryam, that Mary, peace be upon her, is mentioned. <clears throat> but this chapter, uh, she is mentioned uh, in greater detail and her story is mentioned in greater detail. Surah Maryam alayhi is uh, eight pages long, so it's not that long, and it all rhymes. So the whole surah rhymes in a very beautiful way, which makes it very easy to memorize and it makes it very beautiful to listen to. Now the whole Quran is beautiful, First verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Kaf ya sad. that uh, surah uh, and then you have verses in the middle seven verses that are in the middle of the surah uh, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, basically uh, provide uh, the reaction uh, for people. So well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and I will find um, uh, this for you here, um, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions after uh, the, story, the story of Maryam, uh, peace be upon her, uh, he goes and he mentions uh, the story of Isa alayhi salam, basically connects the birth of Isa alayhi salam. And then after that, uh, there are seven verses where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is basically saying that um, it, it hasn't been, it's not befitting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take Isa alayhi salam or to take anybody as a, as a child. Um, uh, but he wills, when he wills something, it happens. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala willed that Isa alayhi salam, Jesus, Jesus peace be upon him, is born um, f with no father. Uh, <clears throat> and the story then goes after that uh, with few, uh, about seven verses, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions what happened with Isa alayhi salam. And this, uh, this change in tone actually makes the person pay attention. Uh, because the whole surah is going with a single rhyme uh, and then, you know, this these verses come and they come in as a shock, um, as a wake-up call. Like, it, it's almost like a bang. Boo! Um, like, you know, listen up. This is um, this is what we're saying here. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, is saying here. Um, again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he uh, describes the, the chapter or the, describes the story of Maryam alayhi salam, peace be upon her, um, he describes uh, that in the most eloquent uh, way. So the Quran uh, is very eloquent in its language, uh, as well as uh, it has a very high level of etiquette um, when it talks about honorable people. Um, and just something to mention, this is something that is in theology, specifically about believing in the prophets and the messengers. There is a scholarly opinion that uh, now majority of the of the scholars, they say that uh, prof, uh, that prophets and messengers are one of their characteristics is being uh, male. However, there is a, a scholarly opinion that says that there are four uh, women that were prophets, not messengers, they were prophets. And one of them is Maryam alayhi salam, Mary, peace be upon her. So when we, when we mention Maryam, we say alayhi salam. When we mention Mary, we say peace be upon, uh, upon her. Um, and Hence, the Quran is very uh, eloquent and is very delicate in dealing with uh, the personalities of honorable people. Uh, and when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions her encounter with the archangel Gabriel, um, he uses the words such as uh, that, uh, that he covered her and then she, um, she conceived uh, Isa alayhi salam. Um, it, it does not uh, go into uh, describing sexual acts. It doesn't go into describing... Um, uh, basically uh, physical uh, interactions, um, but um, it just mentions a, uh, something that is uh, very simple, something that is not um, necessarily human. Uh, the archangel Gabriel, peace be upon him, he, didn't, he doesn't need to do uh, the human act to uh, have Maryam, peace be upon her, conceive um, a baby. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes her psychological uh, state. Basically, after she has conceived this baby and she was an honorable woman in her uh, tribe and in her uh, people, in her society, uh, she tried to hide it because the only explanation that she has um, to this that is physically and that is understood in this world is that 
um, she was either raped or she was uh, she had an um, uh, she committed adultery um, and her being a saint herself um, and being somebody who is a uh, follower of, of the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala she wouldn't uh, do that so then she uh, she hid when when the baby became more visible she um, um, she she basically left uh, she tried to hide it and then when she started to have uh, the birth she left uh, the town and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes how um, basically she sat um, under uh, a tree um, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, will the tree you know will provide her with uh, with the fruit and then she had the baby but she Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes that she was wishing that she was dead uh, before this day comes because with it comes a lot of pain in addition to the social pressure, in addition to the judgment of people, and in addition to potentially social punishment that she will get because people will only perceive Isa alayhi salam, Jesus peace be upon him, as a son of, a, an, of, an, of adultery. So then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala basically uh, inspires to her to, to be calm, um, and then she has the baby and then she goes and she takes the baby back to her people. And then the people basically tell her like, what did you do? Um, your father was not a person of, of ill deeds and your mom uh, was not uh, a prostitute and then she, Allah SWT says she pointed at him they said how can we talk to somebody who is still an infant um, like how can we talk to him and then Isa AS spoke that I am uh, the slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He, he has given me uh, scripture and uh, he has made me um, a prophet. Um, and then basically this was enough of a shock for, for the society to know that this was a miraculous uh, birth to Isa alayhi uh, salam. Um, I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and inshallah we'll see you in the uh, next episode. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.